Worthing FC TV with Dean Hammond uh, arriving here at Worthing as a coach uh, on an interim basis. Dean, how does it feel to be setting up into Worthing? Yeah, it's, um, it's been an interesting couple of days. Um, exciting. Um, really grateful to, to be offered the opportunity to come in and help Worthing and, and support Aaron uh, and, and Buddy. Um, so yeah, really grateful. But looking forward to it. Um, it's a big challenge. Um, but there's a an incredible club here, some brilliant players that have had a fantastic season so far. So, yeah, just trying to maybe pass on a little bit of experience from, from my playing career and at the early stages of my, my coaching career. Yeah, you have been doing a little bit of coaching here already uh, at the under 18s. So how have you been finding that? I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's something that I've always wanted to do um, but haven't been able to. Um, but the last six or seven months, I um, spoke to Nathan, spoke to Hinch in the summer, and they kindly allowed me to, to come in. So. Really enjoying working with the younger players. There's some talented players there. Um, there's a the philosophy through the football club, so I know what the, the club are looking for and what they want. Um, but yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. And some might not even remember this, but back in 2020, you did Hitch talk to you back into playing again in 2020. The idea of being a player, coach kind of role didn't quite come about. How does it feel to kind of get to fulfil that? It's great to be back. Um, I'm, like I say, when, when I came into um, kind of play again uh, a few years back, um, yeah, it really helped me. Um, I've been out of football for a few years and I'd had a difficult period, uh, if I'm honest. I struggled when I, when I finished playing in my playing career. So for Hinch and Amber to come back in, be around the players, being around on the training ground again, being on the pitch, feeling part of something again, um, really, really helped me. So like I say, I owe Hinch a lot for, for that opportunity, but that didn't happen. Um, and then we moved on a few years, but you know, that's how life works. It throws you opportunities and, and surprises. Um, so yeah, I'm just really grateful to have that opportunity again. And it is quite a surreal opportunity. I don't think any of us quite expected. I think even last week, none of us could have ever seen this coming. So a bit of a whirlwind for you guys, as, as you've said, but a bit of pressure, but a, an enjoyable bit of pressure about that maybe? Yeah, I, look, I don't know about the pressure side of it. Um, I think it's uh, an opportunity for, for Aaron, for myself, for, for Buddy, um, with an incredible group of players, incredible group of people, um, brilliant people at the football club. So all we can do is try and do our best. Um, I'm, I'm someone who wants to, who loves winning football matches. I won quite a few when I played. Um, so if we can try and do that again and continue the brilliant work that Hinch has done. I mean, it's incredible what he's done for this football club. Him and Gareth Elfie, Cam as well. Um, I had the, um, the luxury of watching them um, on the training ground in games uh, and learned so much from them. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a, an exciting end to the season. We could just hear the heavens opening a little bit above us. <laughs> Looking forward to stepping up the training ground in that. I am. Do you know what? That, that's, the bit, that's the bit I love most. I love being on the, on the, on the grass, or the Astro, the 3G, um, and being with the players. Um, I love that. I miss that when I, when I finished playing so much. So, yeah, can't wait to get out there and come up with a few, few ideas and, and just try and support players, staff as, as much as I possibly can.